How's it going guys? Ethan here. I'm down here in the in the basement uh, whipping out a quick target for doing some shooting out in the woods and I wanted to show you guys kind of what I do here and what I've done for a long time and uh, this is just a cardboard cutout. I love just a simple cardboard cutout target. Uh, I've always got a pleasure and a joy out of um, just having a stack of hay bales or a round bale and cutting out a cardboard silhouette and shooting arrows away because for one if you're like me you're cheap uh, you don't have a lot of money to spend on all these buku 3d targets and life-size targets and the uh, uh, the ones you can't afford or look like a look like a fawn here in the midwest <laughs> they look like a 75 pound deer but this is the way that I like to make up these little silhouettes and guys, they don't cost anything. If you go behind, you know, out back behind some stores, sorry, I got my dog in here, tick, tick, ticking around. Um, if you go out behind some stores or places like that or um, anywhere that gets things in large boxes, uh, maybe if you go to Lowe's and see if they have any um, appliance boxes laying around, or anytime you buy appliances, save that cardboard, save those big pieces of cardboard like this, and uh, you have gobs of fun for free. And let me tell you a little bit about the way that I cut these out and the way that I design the way they are. First of all, this is life size. This is 16 inches from back line to belly line. I found that to be a pretty good average of most adult does. Um, some, some bucks here in the Midwest, you know, that's, uh, that yeah, could be closer to the 20 inch mark uh, that I've found on a good sized deer, uh, like a big mature buck. But on your average deer, by and large, it's a mature animal that you're gonna you know, put a tag on. This is about the size of the body. And I've got a little, the, one of those little Delta McKenzie river bottom buck uh, targets you guys see me shoot at. But the thing I hate about that target is, like I said, it's only about the size of about an 80 pound deer. And, uh, yeah, it's nice to know that you can hit a little deer, but I also, for the sake of confidence, a lot of it is, you know, about confidence. You know, if you shoot that, shoot, you're shooting at that little deer out there, you hit a little low or a little high, you know, you feel like you've made a bad shot. On a little deer, you did, but on a big deer, you've got a much larger kill zone to work with. So, to me, it's still important to shoot at life-size targets. So, that's why I like to make my own cardboard cutouts. And not only that, shooting up holes at this thing, uh, this will last for you know good hundred some shots, and then uh, throw it away, burn it, make another one. But this is the way that I like to make these: um, is I like to incorporate legs. I like to have legs because sometimes I set them on the ground or whatever. But I, as a bow hunter, I focus really hard on these legs, on the front leg. I use a lot of times the front leg to aim off of whenever, as far as it being straight up and down. And I pay attention to these front legs to know where to place my shot, depending on if it's broadside, quartering away, uh, sometimes even quarter and two. If it's quarter and two very hard, I will, I will stitch one in between the neck and the shoulder. But this to me is much more realistic and advantageous practice at no cost at all so you guys don't have to spend a bunch of money and this simple little cardboard target has reinforced good shot placement habits and something else you'll note here i've put the front leg forward for you know a walking browsing animal uh this to me it reinforces good habits of making sure you're letting if you get an opportunity to if it's possible not everything's possible in a perfect world, but if you have a relaxed animal that's slowly feeding along or walking along, if you get a chance to let that front leg go forward, open that kill zone up even more, do yourself a favor, and uh, let them open themselves up for a better shot. So here on this target, I've got this front leg forward, and then you notice right here, um, obviously deers don't have little speckled spots on them, but this outlines what a deer's front leg does. If any of you guys have boned, ever boned out a whitetail in your life, you'll see it's a triangle. And you got that shoulder blade up here. The shoulder blade's not here, the shoulder blade's up here. But that leg bone, you know, the shoulder attaches to the humerus and then it runs down. And then you got that knuckle up here, right? You don't wanna hit that knuckle. 
but you got the shoulder blade up top, and then you got the big open, what a lot of guys call the golden triangle. You got this big, wide open, uh, soft tissue and muscle that you can shoot at, and this is where the heart's at. The heart's not back here, guys. Stop, don't pay attention to all these uh, phony pictures on the internet that show improper vital placement on a white-tailed deer. Even with that front leg forward, the heart is right there. So why would you shoot at the heart back here? And the center of the lungs is right here, not far off from being in line with the legs. Their lungs extend all the way forward, almost past their front leg. So why would you shoot at deer's lungs all the way back here? Doesn't make any sense. That's why I say don't pay don't pay attention to these fake or these vitals on these targets out there that are not accurate and some of these pictures I've seen floating around out there that aren't accurate. The lungs will extend almost almost past the front legs or to the front of the front legs and the heart is almost covered up by the legs or by this by this elbow right here but you got you got quite a bit to shoot through. You got a little bit of the back of the heart right here you can hit and you got the heart right here you can hit. You know the heart's the size is a little bigger than your fist on a big deer so you know the heart's right there. You got plenty of room to hit it, but it's it's forward. It's more forward than you think that it is, and it's low. So I like to have this little line right, this little dotted line right here, to remind me that I've got all that to shoot at. You've got that golden triangle with all those large air passageways and um, ventricles and arteries that are at the front of that heart and lungs. If you put an arrow right in here, that animal's not going very far. Uh, I try to shoot every deer that I shoot right there, if, if I can, if it's a broadside or corner and away shot, and it's worked out for me very well. But I like to make these targets for that reason. This is a life-size, this is a life-size deer cutout that I can carry this out in the woods, and that's the other thing I encourage you guys to do, and that's going to be in one of my next videos. I'm going to take this thing out in the woods, set it up in some realistic spots of how I would hunt or ground hunt or whatever, and uh, with ye old. Uh, Doug fir shaft and judo point and shoot at it and practice not having a spot to shoot at not having any kill zone target insert shot up spots nothing this and that's the other thing that's important about these cardboard targets so that's why i like this so much it's just a plain bare piece of cardboard you have to pick a spot if you shoot at this hole it's just like you know shooting at a whole deer instead of picking a spot on a deer if you try to shoot at this whole thing you're gonna make shots all over the place you have to look for that i mean this is this is there you will see this leg line where it comes up right here and makes the elbow you see that on a live deer their hair is a little different color right there creates a little dark spot that is accurate the little dots maybe not but if you pay attention to a deer's leg you can see that on a live deer if you look at any picture of a live deer broadside you can see the outline of where that leg bones run in that golden triangle so if this is going to force you to look for that elbow and look for that lower third shot straight up from the legs and practice shooting at it out in the woods or pin it to your uh, backstop, pin it to a, a couple straw bales that you may be able to grab from your local farm store for a couple bucks or from a local farmer for maybe even nothing. And uh, make your own free cardboard cutouts, guys. Stop wasting money on 3D targets. It's not worth it. You can re recreate these uh, cardboard targets and uh, some straw bales, you know, dozens of them a year and a couple straw bale, different straw bales a year once they start getting weathered uh, for a fraction. Uh, you can do that for several years before you add up to what a 3D target costs. So guys, make yourself some cardboard cutouts, save your money, and uh, get some good valuable practice out of something like this and the actual features of a deer that you need to look for that don't have scoring rings on them of where you're, you need to pick a spot and shoot at it. So anyway, that's all I got for this video. Like and subscribe, share the channel with others, and I'll catch you guys next time.